next week on to the East Coast at Muirfield. This is Emily Pedersen, who's had a nice start to the day. Birdie the second and fifth holes. This is her at seven. Well, I think we can give her that one as well. I think so. So three under par. Anna Green playing with uh, Emily Pedersen. Dropped a shot early on at four. Has got one back since then. Actually, make that two back. She's now one under. Now, it's an interesting rain outfit, isn't it? Inji Chun was actually practicing in this on the driving range. Never seen that before, have you? No, never. I, I might get myself one, though, if you can hit shots like that. Yeah. So you're aiming right hand side. Just trying to turn one in right to left here. It needs to go. That was lucky. There is a shelf there. Lydia Ko on a similar line to Cup Choke. She's made a probably best start of our feature group players, Lydia Ko. That's three birdies in a row now. Davis quoted that she shot the best round of her life in that weather. It's not hard enough. Oh, it is hard enough. You can see there the water just coming up. Off the back of that excellent birdie at seven. Pedersen now at eight. Oh, just push it onto the flag. Catch up with Esther Henser right like there. This is at the tenth. Start of the day with a, a double bogey six, so one over par right now. If you miss it short, you're in a lot of trouble. And slips. Oh, that was very lucky. That's a very good break for Charlie Hull, and it's a very good result right now. At Trust Golf that's Link right. Series events. Yeah. Yeah, they both played well. Oh, beautiful touch. It's Sophie Walker's back. I was just checking the weather conditions out there, Richard. Oh, beauty. Booty eight. He's found the fairway here at eight. Been reliably informed. Next week, we're on the uh, east coast of Scotland. And the weather's lovely there right now. 115 yards. She's landed it all the way. Sets up a great opportunity for a three. The LPGA Tour, the tired to ticket. The short answer is no. No. And how surprised are you to see Lydia Cloak play a I shot like that? I was just about to say, surprised as in. <laughs> well done, Emily. Hopefully Grandma's watching in the clubhouse. We landed on a downslope here. Let's see how it reacts. Safe to say that was well struck. Emily Pedersen. It's just 120 yards this one, but you must stay right of it. Pedersen, very cautious there. How good a putt was that from the day? Gap wedge into the ninth. Well, three nice shots into the ninth there. No quick look, it's a steady look. What a save. Right at it. As you'd expect from Charlie Hart. Turn in 32. Yes, well done, Lydia Coe. That's a fabulous front nine. Boutier, who uh, they've had a change in the scoring. She's actually at three under par now. Taking away one of her early birdies. Coe had to chip out. She's in the thick stuff down the right. So this is her third.
time to catch up again with Emily Pedersen. She said to me, got to find some putts. Boutier has been going along so nicely. Struggling here at 10. That's a beautifully played recovery shot. Look at this. Get your rights to the LPGA. Right at it. Oh, had a chance. Both ways of going in that. Had two. Par 5, 18th, and it's a fabulous third shot in from Lilia Vu. In her way, but mistake from the French woman. We don't see this often at Lynx golf courses, but it almost feels a bit of target golf right now. There's another example from Cup Joe. There's a bunker waiting on 13. It's exceptional. Par 5, 18th, and it's a fabulous third shot in from Lilia Vu. In her way, but mistake from the French woman. We don't see this often at Lynx golf courses, but it almost feels a bit of target golf right now. There's another example from Cup Joe. Oh, yes. Great up and down from Charlie Hull. You didn't expect anything else, did you? Oh. Look at the spin she generated there, Boutier hitting down on it. I haven't seen Whitney Hillier today. She's been having a really good season, the Australian. Not having a good day, so things might improve there. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> What a part from Boutier.